mistakes gate aspirants tend to do during the examination. This is Arit Chandra from KP Gate classes and let us begin with this video. So this is going to be an important video where, which will help you come up with an exam strategy for 4th of February this year. Remember that after you watching this video, you do not repeat any or you do not do any of these three mistakes during the exam examination this year. So let us begin with the first point. The first one is improper time management. So you should have a proper time management. You should not be in a situation that at the end of the examination, you're left out with some questions and you you do not have time. You should not be in such a situation or you should not be in a situation that you used all your three hours just in answering the general aptitude and the common part and you have not even started working on part B that is architectural planning. You should not be in such situation. So you should have a proper time plan. You should have a proper time management for the examination. You should not waste time on some lengthy questions. Remember, gate examination will be a combination of easy, medium and difficult level questions. Any gate paper. And gate exam will also be a combination of simple direct answer questions and lengthy calculation questions, very lengthy, which take time. There is no shortcut involved. So the, it's a combination of everything. You should have your own. Uh, so you should not waste time on some questions. Have a proper plan. And also remember, gate examination is not something where time is a major constraint. Now, there are examinations, generally requirement examinations, requirement tests by state PSCs and all, where you have 120 questions in two hours, 120 minutes. So one minute per question. So those are time bound examinations, but gate is not such an exam. In gate, you have to answer 65 questions. That will be hours duration. If you take a simple average, you will get around 2.7 minutes per question, which is not a small enough time, which is not a small time to uh, answer a question. So uh, however, time is not a major constraint, but having a proper time management is still important because some students tend to do these mistakes like having a favorite topic. I uh, so. Uh, for example, someone some can someone can think I like this topic of acoustics. So let me answer the question, however difficult or however lengthy it is. So you should not have such favoritism. This is my favorite topic. I will answer this question. No, you should not have any favorite topic. You should have all the questions are equal for you. All the subjects are equal for you during the examination. So when you sit in the examination for three hours, your only focus should be on maximizing your score but not wasting time. So, uh, and also uh, after the division of paper into B1 and B2, some students tend to do this mistake also of looking into all the questions in detail of architecture part, and then looking into all the questions in detail of the planning part, and then making a question. You should have, you should go through both the parts, but not in detail. You should just go through the overview and decide, make a decision, which part you need to work on, which part is more scoring for you. So just go through, just came through the questions, uh, all the 16 questions of part B1, all the 16 questions of part B2, just came through them and make a decision based on that. How many questions on an average or how many mistakes uh, you are prone to do in, in, in a given part. So just think on that and select the other part. So do not waste time on that. So proper time management, don't waste time on single questions or don't waste time on lengthy questions or difficult questions for that matter. So uh, when you're solving a question and you, you go have an answer. Do not waste time in thinking about it or rethinking about it. It is fine to recheck once, but not rechecking it three or four times and wasting 10 minutes on one question. Don't do that mistake. Many students tend to do this. Do not have any particular uh, inter or particular say uh, attach attachment with a particular question or a topic. Do not waste time on that. Do not uh, do not uh, waste time in making a decision as to which part to attend. Do not waste time on that. So have a proper a uh, strategy beforehand make a decision and also don't keep on watching the time obviously the time will be displayed on the screen how many minutes is left out so just look for that and uh, and make sure that you're not wasting a lot of time or putting a lot of time onto one part of one section that is the first important point which you need to keep in mind so do not do a mistake of improper time management in the examination and moving on to the second point Second point is negative marking, which is very crucial in deciding your rank or in deciding your gate score finally. So negative marking. Many students have this problem. They answer a lot of correct questions, but they lose a lot of marks in negative marking, ending up getting a less rank or a less score. That should not be a case for you. So remember this point. How, how can you do that? How is it possible to not have a large number of negative marking? That is possible only when you have a decision made before the examination. Think of it. Remember that you should not 
get a lot of negative marks. Now, a uh, few points which will help you in achieving this negative marking is first point, understand the gauge pattern that there are three types of questions, multiple choice questions, numerical answer type questions and multiple select questions. And you all are aware that MSQ multiple select questions and numerical answer type questions. These questions do not have any negative marking. And the reason for that is the pattern of the question is such a way that there is less scope for guesswork. Because there is less scope for guesswork, they have avoided, they have not given any negative marking for wrong answers in these two types. So remember that point that MSQ and NAT questions have no negative marking and you can take a level of calculated risk in these type of questions. Obviously, numerical answer type questions, you cannot take any guesswork or you cannot do anything uh, with respect to guessing the answer. But in multiple select type questions, you can work on elimination approach. You can eliminate the incorrect answers. So spend some time on those questions and make sure at the end of the exam, when you're coming out of your examination hall at 5.30 or 4th of February, you should not be left out or you should not leave out it should not leave at least one single MSQ question unattempted. MSQ questions are where you have the answers right there, not like numerical answer type, right? So make sure you attempt, attempt all, make an attempt for all those MSQ questions. Even if you do not know something, you do not know an answer for something, try to spend, use your logic, use your concepts, which you might have studied uh, during your preparation uh, and start, to start working on elimination approach, eliminate and correct answers and then answer the questions. So this way you can maximize your score and control your negative marking simultaneously and do not do any guesswork in multiple choice questions. For sure, you can eliminate, you can work on elimination approach on multiple choice questions too. If you have eliminated two options and are left out with two options, you and you do not take a blind guesswork in such questions because there is negative marking. Try to use your logic and then work on eliminating one option. Only if you are more than 80% confident, you should answer. Can take some risk, but not a 50-50 chance like what you can take in MSQ question. So remember these points. Remember that you should minimize your negative marking. You should do least possible mistakes in multiple choice type questions. So remember the type of questions also. NAT questions have no negative marking. MSQ questions have no negative marking. So work on them. Answer all the NAT and MSQ questions. At the end of the examination, your paper should be answered. should have answers for all those types, but not MCQ. Do not take a risk in MCQ questions. That said, do not, uh, again, do not minimize, do not uh, just to control negative marking, don't end up answering very few questions too. So you should work on your confidence levels and uh, learn a lot, revise a lot of concepts. This last moment is time for revision. Revise a lot of concepts so that you will have minimum negative marking in the examination. So the second point is with respect to minimizing the negative marking. Now moving on to the third and most crucial thing is the third mistake that students tend to do is lacking 100% concentration. Three hours should be to the point, focused only on the examination, nothing else. So you should have 100% concentration uh, during the span of those three hours of the examination. Now, uh, what are the possible mistakes of why some students would not have 100% concentration? Possibilities could be some students could be sleepy during the examination. Some students could be thinking about something else during the examination. Some students could be thinking about the score, rank and college which they get into during. The, so these are not the thoughts which you should have during the examination. You have a lot of time after the examination to do all these things. So during those three hours of the examination, you should have 100% concentration only on the questions and having a correct answer, having a correct answer to it. So no one will be asking you how, uh, uh, what did you do or uh, what, it doesn't matter how much score you get or thinking about it during the examination. Your focus should be only on maximizing your score during the examination, not to feel sleepy. Now, it is very crucial that you have a, a sleep pattern set along with the uh, set as per the time of the examination. Gate exam is set for afternoon session this year, uh, 4th of February, 2.30 to 5.30. That's the scheduled time for gate AR, gate architecture paper. So if you are having a habit of taking a small nap afternoon after your lunch. Stop doing that at least for these last 10 days. So have a have your sleep cycle set along with the uh, as per the gate uh, gate say uh, schedule. So uh, go to sleep, wake up in the morning or do not go to sleep in the afternoon session basically. Have your full sleep at night itself. That should be done for the last 10 days before the examination. 
at least so that your sleep cycle is set accordingly or you're not sleepy during the examination. So have 100% concentration only on the questions, only on answers, not having any sleep, not having any thought about the score outcome. Do not waste your time in counting your marks and all. How many score, how many answers have you answered correctly? Now, I personally have written gate examinators in gate architecture twice. The first attempt, I scored All India rank 24. And in my second attempt, I scored All India rank 1. And in both the attempts, I while I was coming out of the examination hall, I had zero idea as to how many marks would I be getting out of hundreds. That should be the case for you. I hear, I, I listen to some students and they say, sir, I will be scoring 45 marks. Now, you should not waste time in counting your marks during the examination. Utilize 100% of the time available on solving the questions with 100% concentration. Do not, uh, do not count your marks. Do not uh, see how many mistakes you have done. Uh, that's not something which you should do during the examination. Focus only on, so if you still have time, work on the questions which you still not have answered. Work on the questions which you do not have an idea about. Even if you have zero idea about some questions, you can still work on them by looking into the measurement units. If it is a numerical type question particularly, if you do not know something, you can look into the measurement units and come up with a strategy or possible answer for that question. So do not waste time. Have 100% of concentration on the examination during the exam. Also, some students lack 100% concentration due to not having hundred, uh, not having a cool state of mind. They tend to have a lot of tense state of mind. So that is that is something which you should eliminate. Now, it, I know it is very easy to say, don't feel tense during the examination. If you're prone to have some level of anxiety, but there are things which you can still do to lessen. You cannot make that. You cannot bring that anxiety level to zero, but you can minimize it, and you have to minimize. How can you minimize those uh, anxiety levels by removing all uncertainties? Have a well plan. So uh, all gate admit cards are already out. Go and visit or if, if you have any doubt about your examination center or you don't know that area, go and visit it beforehand. If you already know it, pre-plan your travel. How should you be going? Because there are a lot of rules during the examination. You, you're not allowed to uh, take a lot of things into the examination hall. Uh, so make sure you obviously you're not allowed mobile phone also or your uh, uh, your phone as well so make sure you pre-plan all these things where are you going to leave your mobile phone some centers do keep them if, if they're not keeping if they're not having a facility to keep your important things uh what is your uh, plan then where, when are you going to leave how are you going to travel so pre-plan all these don't have any uncertainties before the examination because all these things tend to develop a level of anxiety before the examination so pre-plan your travel Pre-plan your complete day before the exam. What all the things? What are the things which you should be doing? Till when are you going to revise your concepts? So focus on all these and have a cool state of mind. So these things will help you. Also practicing because we're still by the time you're watching this video, probably you still have some time. So focus on solving the past gate papers. That also will boost up your confidence when you start answering the past gate papers. You will develop that level of confidence of looking at gate questions and answering them. Give mock tests that also will make bring down your anxiety levels and will make you will give you a habit of answering online mode questions. So you can use the mock series of us at KP Gate classes where we have also on our uh, you can find all the links in the description of the video. We have also uh, uploaded some last minute mini mocks as well. So you can also answer those mini mocks to maximize your score and bring down your anxiety levels during the examination. So these are the three crucial points which you have to remember during the examination. A summary, point number one, time plan, time strategy. That is very important. Point number two, negative marking. Focus on minimizing negative marking. Point number three, not having 100% concentration. To have that 100% concentration, pre-plan everything, pre-plan pre your day, pre-plan your sleep cycle, pre-plan your exam strategy, pre-plan your habit or have a habit of looking at new questions through the mock test. Uh, so have all these uh, things pre-planned so that you're not tensed and you have 100% concentration on the examination. So that is all from us. All the best from KPK, KP Gate classes. And I hope you uh, will be coming out of this examination with wonderful results. Thank you, everyone.